So WPD, WPD management called the police on me. <laughs> they called the overseers on me. See, that's the problem, people. The police don't work for the people. The police don't work for the people. I'm right here. Hold up. You hear it? Okay. You, I, I, this is the guy, gentleman. I came in. You could, you filming me, right? Right. No, okay. I don't mind you filming okay. me, but don't walk up on me. I, I, why? How am I walking you up on you? Up in my face. Come on, man. Please, okay. you looking to be so aggressive. That's this guy here. I called, came to the office, sensibly trying to be so talking now, okay, to him, so sister. Here, here's what they told me. Here's what they told me. Y'all hear the police serve corporate America, not the people. This is what they told her. Not what not what really happened. This is what they told her. He more than welcome to the court. That's fine. We're gonna this is okay. what we're here for. We're not okay. here for Facebook Live. So here's well, so here's the thing. I would if he you give us a call. You get arrested for trespass. What's that property? What? Okay. Show me. What's that property? So I walk that property. All of our properties, correct? All of them. It's the parking lot, whatever. You can't, you can't determine no it's every. You hear every building. If I'm called on his property, every building, I'm arrested. Is this their property, officer? I'm asking you. I'm asking you a question. Is this their property? You can't harass I'm you. asking you, this is this is yeah, exactly so I can stand right here? However, you cannot I can't go up here. You cannot stand in front of the door. Okay, but I can stand right here. That's what I'm saying. So that's all we did. That's all we did. And please don't let them call you lying talking about that's not what we did. That's all we did. Stand public property. Use our own people against us, calling on us, and we only sitting here. Look, that's who they work for. They don't work for the people. They work for corporate America. They work for the, the establishment. <laughs> so here it is. This is, they call the police on me. This is WPD management. You see, I'm still here. This is not their property. This is the public sidewalk. This is not their property. This is the public sidewalk. He said, if 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 he caught on all of our property, can we call the police? See, people understand this. The police don't work for us. The police don't serve us. The police serve the corporate America and the establishment that is America. These are overseers. They're not officers. They are overseers for rich corporate America to lock black men and women up. That's all police exist for. You got 11% clearance rate on murder and they can't solve nothing, but they got time to come over and see this. That's crazy. And, and you got a whole residential area over here. These people sit here and they usurp, they suck up our people money and they build in the midst of our neighborhood and offer no community benefit to nothing, but our women and children are in their apartment buildings all over the city. They buy up the apartment buildings. They raise the rent. They raise the height. This is WPD, and I'm going to give them hell every time I see them. You see this? These people are crazy. We exposing pastors, politicians, business people. Everybody get it today. We out here killing each other, but here they are doing business as usual. That don't make no sense. That should be unacceptable. See, this is what I love, huh? Yeah, this is their parking lot. That's good. That's what. I parking may belong to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, but that's the problem. That's what I'm saying. The fact that they would call the police instead of dealing with it is that I'm not running. I'm not scared. I got a case and I ain't running from the police because I'm right. I'm right. And as long as I'm right, I'm going to stand on that. This is WPD management. They said this is the public sidewalk. That's the beautiful thing about this. I can stand in front of these people though all day and and they can do nothing about it. Until they sit down with the community, 
So they sit down with the community and create real opportunities for this community. Then they are hypocrites. They're liars. They are usurpers of black folks' money and wealth and resources. See? Look at that. Slum lords. That's all, my man. That's right. Slum lords. Pangea, all of them. Pangea, slum lords. These are white boys. Young white boys own half the city, our communities. This sign right here. How many, how many, how many schools they contribute to? None. The violence in the neighborhood, they buy the building. All they care about is our money and owning property in our communities. We're going to stop all that. These white boys, they don't, none of them live around here. Wow. Phil, oh yeah. And they bought this building, made it up, they made this their management. Yeah. So they send, and then, then they send black officers over here. Yeah, yeah, good. I love it. That, they can't do nothing. They send black officers over here. They call. Huh? Oh, yeah, I remember them. Oh, yeah. That was a black-owned company, right? Yeah, I remember him. Call the police on y'all, brother. Y'all hear that? You scared to go to jail? This ain't your, this ain't the work you should be involved with. This is serious. This is serious work. Park you. This is a serious job serving black people who are sometimes often so ungrateful. They won't give a nickel towards not their own freedom. But yet, this is what you got to do because you love what you do. You love your people. You love yourself. So this is what you got to do. So in the interim of everything, look at him. A cow was sitting in the window. All the little white boys watch. Call the police on him. You see him? Look at him. All of them sitting in the window. <laughs> sitting in the window. Cow was looking at me. Sitting in the window. Well, hey Barbara, you walk you walking with you working, you watching with a different type of white woman. Some of these white people, they could care less about us as a people and their races, and they could care less. Those that are with us are with us. But then they understand that we can no longer be uh, disrespected in our communities and, and gentrified and, and that their people are responsible for a lot of the conditions and the ills that we deal right, with. Right. That's through the, through the union and they all always right. saying gatekeepers, Everything gatekeepers, police, and they always look like us. Them be the ones that kill you, the ones look like you doing the bidding for them, but I'm going to give them hell to all this whole city. That's all. I'm going to give the whole city hell, then we're going to get the whole, the whole country hell. But when you see these construction sites, don't none of these people look like us. But they ain't got to go through these hoops, but when it comes to us, we got to go through these hoops. Sure, my peoples, y'all. You know so, I love it. This is what I do. I love what I do. And I'm, I'm happy to be on the front line. Front line tied, people. Look, they sit in there and watch. I'm glad they know who I am because I'm not stopping. Instead of them just coming to the table and dealing with our people the proper way, he want to be arrogant and say he, he can hire who he want and work in any neighborhood. No, you can't. Yes, you can. But then don't be upset when we ask you about what's the community benefit of what it is that you do in our neighborhoods. We can't. We don't have to accept. I can't go to his neighborhood, and they don't even live in our crib, in our community. They they come in these communities, they come in these communities, people, and they put nothing back. They rob us of our resources, pass judgments on us, uh, slum lords, and there's high rent on slum lords, and there's high rent on our women and children, and we sit back at men and watch this, slum lords, people.
Dale, Debbie Goins Baker said, be careful on there, brother. You are dealing with the devil, sister. Hey, I'm going to say this to you. We've been dealing with the devil since we was brought in this in America in the bottom of slave ships. We've been dealing with the devil. It hasn't changed. Nothing has changed. It's just a different era. Dr. King didn't do nothing wrong. He was just trying to create love and peace, and he's still dead. It doesn't matter about what you do. It, you know, you can't escape the devil. The devil, if God allowed the devil to harm you, then there it is. Praise be to God. That was his mission and his will. I don't want to escape and run and feel none of that. So, so thank you for the advice, but sister, God got us. God got us. We have to believe that because you got to have something real and strong and systemic if you're going to fight against this devil, because this devil is wicked. It's bigger, the principalities and wickedness and high places, even coming from our own people, coming from our own people. So continue to under, continue to support, continue to be a part of something that's bigger than yourself. So with that being said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to set this live off, but I just wanted to record it, show y'all these cowards, WPD management, called the police on me. I guess they thought I was going to run or something. They really don't understand. They really don't understand who they dealing with. And, and, and this is not about this is not about being fearful. And we're tired of afraid Negroes. Afraid and fearful Negroes is the reason we're in the condition we are in. We're going to get our sons from killing each other. That's what we're going to work on. We're working on getting our sons for killing each other, and I'm about a solution. The solution is ownership and opportunity. Ownership and opportunity is all I care about. I want y'all to understand that. So let's get it. Let's own some stuff, and then we can feed ourselves and stop worrying about what others are not doing. Peace.